The Steven Universe episodes Beta and Earthling have just aired. Holy moly, those episodes were just packed with new revelations. Some small and some gem shatteringly huge. Before we go into this theory, please consider this your spoiler warning. In the episode Beta, Peridot took Steven and Amethyst to the Beta Kindergarten site. She describes the kindergarten as being less than ideal. The location, the growing materials, the size, the design, they're all wrong. It will do the job in a pinch, but was obviously meant for growing gems quickly, not carefully. Peridot also tells them that the Beta Kindergarten was built after the rebellion had started. Homeworld was scrambling to get more warriors on the ground to combat the Crystal Gems halfway into the war. This implies that the Rebellion was, at this point, becoming a serious threat to the Diamonds. They needed more warriors to crush Rose's forces. This wasn't about making the best quality gems, but producing numbers. However, despite being a rush job, these gems still had a purpose. Soldiers for the war. And who were these soldiers being made for? Pink Diamond. Gems are made with a purpose. This has been stated several times through the series. Gems have an intended role and function, and to try to change this is tantamount to heresy. Jasper is very clear on this point. Any gem that does not fit their purpose in serving the diamonds must be purged. To deviate from your designated purpose is completely unforgivable. And this is why Jasper is so fixated on Rose Quartz. She hates Rose, detests her for what she represents. She is the very embodiment of all that Homeworld hates, deviation from design. Rose chose to be something other than what she was intended for. Worse, she inspired others to ignore their purpose and turn their backs on Homeworld and the Diamonds. She took gems that had failed, that had outlived their usefulness, that felt unappreciated or rejected, and inspired them to be more. Jasper hates what Rose did to the Earth Colony. Rather than being a gem settlement, it became the staging ground for defiance against the Diamonds. Jasper takes this very personally. Her purpose in being made was to fight and win the war against the Rebels, for Earth to become a gem colony. She is very possessive. This is her colony. This is her planet. But she failed. The Crystal Gems forced Homeworld to retreat from the Earth and not return for thousands of years. This would have ruined Jasper's standing on Homeworld. She no longer had a primary purpose, a warrior with no war to fight. A failure. Worse than that, Rose did something to Pink Diamond. Was Pink Diamond shattered? Captured? Corrupted? We don't know, that's a theory for another day. But Jasper is absolutely infuriated, enraged by whatever it was that happened. After her battle with Smoky Quartz, she is literally screaming at Steven about what Rose did to her diamond. It infuriates her so much, it accelerates her corruption. She lets go of her identity and loses herself in her rage and anger towards Rose Quartz. This is why Jasper is so fixated on Rose, and indeed on Steven. They are the antithesis to everything Jasper believes in. To have a purpose and never waver from it. To remain in the form given to you. To serve the authority that is the Diamonds. By having a goal other than her designated purpose. By rebelling against Homeworld. By being Steven. Rose has destroyed every ideal that Jasper held. What are your thoughts on these gem-shattering revelations? Oh, wait, I already used that pun. Uh, but the point is valid. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Theory Pop.